Carly, it's uh, the day before Christmas Eve. How are you enjoying your first winter in the UK? Yeah, I'm loving it at the moment. It hasn't been too cold, so you know, I've had the heater set on 23 the whole time at home, so <laughs> it feels like back back home, so it's normal, but I'm enjoying it so far. Good Christmas atmosphere in Witness? Yeah, it's, 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 uh, they take Christmas uh, you know, a lot more serious over here than back home. You know, back home we're usually at the beach and you know, just enjoying summer, but here you know, it's, it's a good different uh, culture shift, you know, you got the, the winter and some parts are snowing and you know the Christmas lights are up and Manchester's got their winter markets which are pretty good. What about training and getting fit in, in the cold weather, how's that affecting you? Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's pretty different getting used to the cold, doing fitness especially, it's it's a bit different, a bit difficult to get used to because you know, back home you know, you've got the heat to contend to but it's a bit different breathing in cold air than hot air. Do you have to take any precautions with regards to muscles and, and things like that? No, it's, a, it's pretty much all the same, you know, like you've got the skins and everything to keep the muscles warm so it's just the same training in the cold. You're looking forward to getting started and getting out on the pitch with the ball in your hands? Yeah, I'm very excited to you know, run out on Sunday. Usually back home we don't play till late January, start of February, so it's a bit different, but I'm excited for Sunday. <coughs> and uh, is everyone gelling together? You've got to know all the lads fairly quick, I suppose. Yeah, it was, it was very easy, surprisingly. You know, all the boys are, you know, have welcomed me very well, so it only took me a couple of days to, you know, feel welcome and at home, so it's been a good adjustment. Kev, it's uh, obviously nearly time to start the pre-season friendly. Are the lads chomping at the bit to get going now? Yeah, we've had a really good pre-season. Um, a lot of work's been done. Um, now it's just about transferring that over as a group. Um, and, and really looking forward to not just getting a friendly under our belt, but getting back on here and, and playing in front of our fans again. There's only so much you can show the coach um, on the training field. I think you know a lot of the young lads are dying to get out there. You know, I've been really impressed with you know Danny Walker, Ali Ashall, and them in in pre-season so it's uh, it's important that they get a, a taste of what it's like on the big stage and uh, you know play against you know good quality men um, you know the 16 year olds and it'll be a bit alien to them so um, it's important that they get this under the belt um, and it'll make them better for, for when they're called up in the season. Andrew Connor with Lucy and James. Uh, and have they had a good day today? They've had a fantastic day, yeah. Uh, how long have you been Vikings fans? Uh, ever since we're about five, six, so about 29 years, something like that. And you've obviously passed that down to, to the kids? Yeah, she's a strong old ticket holder now, so it's first first year for her. And obviously the Christmas party, obviously a good strong old member benefit. Fantastic event, obviously the little girl's over there, she won't go over, she's dancing away. Um, and she's had a fantastic day, she got to meet Paddy Flynn, which is her ideal, she's her favourite player. What other activities and stuff has she been up to? Uh, she's been dancing, she's met Father Christmas, um, she's not stopped screaming, dancing, face painting, uh, making cookies with the players, um, bouncy castle, she's had a really, really good day. So getting her tired out uh, for the Christmas holidays. Yeah, she'll sleep tonight. Hep, uh, we'll talk about the off-season first of all if we can do. Uh, have you been up to anything exciting during the close season? No, good, um, I was in training hard for a few weeks and then um, got to go back to Aussie for six weeks in New Zealand and got married to a beautiful wife so it's been pretty busy for me. So congratulations, so you're a married man now. Will that change the way you play? <laughs> I don't know, I think um, might not have any pool anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, looking forward now. Um, obviously, we've got a game coming up uh, in, in a few days' time on uh, Boxing Day, or the day after Boxing Day against uh, Wellington Wolves. Are you looking forward to getting back involved again? Yeah, I can't wait. You know, I've had a had a good break, and um, you know, it's, I've freshened up, definitely freshened up, and just keen to get back in there and coming back, having that time off, seeing how well all the young boys are going and. And that's really uh, put the pressure on to, you know, put my mark on my spot. You had a few niggles last season throughout, more or less from start to finish. Is that all cleared up now? Are you feeling good? Yeah, everything's uh, good now. I've um, had my operations and all cleaned up, so you know, rearing to go now. So I can't wait. It's Claire Rogers. I'm here with my son, Caden. What uh, What made you join up to the stronghold? 
we go to the game whenever we can. We, you know, we go to the away games as well, and um, just think it's fantastic value for money. It saves you money. You get the, the magic weekend tickets as well through in there, so it's well worth the money. Nice to see a lot of the players at such a family occasion as well today. It is, yeah. They all they always take the time out to, you know, to get involved with the fans and the kids and have the pictures took and what have you. And uh, what do you think Witness are going to do this season? What's your prediction? This is fair, I'm going to get some time. Um, hopefully the new players that have come in, we're going to, we're going to you know, pay, pay for more than the top eight this year, I think. Amy Sullivan. And uh, who are you wearing with today? My little brother. What's his name? Jed Gorry. And are you a Stronghold member? Is he a Stronghold member? Yeah, we both are. Can you tell me first what made you decide to uh, join the Witness Vikings Stronghold? Because it's good value for money and I go all the matches. What about the day itself today? Uh, do you think the youngsters have enjoyed it on the whole? Uh, have you enjoyed it? Yeah. yeah. Well, he's saying he's enjoying it. So yeah. Sort of it's nice to see uh, quite a lot of the players there today as well, giving up their time. Yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you spoke to any of the players? Uh, yeah, a few of them. Who did you speak to? Uh, Joe Mellie. Who else? Pep Cahill. Corey Thompson. Corey Thompson. Who is your favourite player? I don't, I don't know. I like, I like them all. Okay. Who's the best looking one? I can't say that. <laughs> Corey Thompson. Oh, the new boy. Down, not given. Long ball out. Kevin Brown. Good ball out. Lee Samley. Chance on the outside. It must be a try for the Vikings. It's a try in the corner. And Stefan Marsh wants the kick. Has he got too much on it? Marsh has scored. Hamley. Oh, that's a lovely long ball out. And Stefan Marsh goes in at the corner. Kevin Brown. Dummies. Oh, Kevin Brown. It's a master stroke.